on really fast and do a little bit of a demonstration for you guys regarding carpet stains. Uh, because of the way that I have the camera angled so that you can see my work here, unfortunately this is a little bit of an, of an awkward situation. Um, bear with me. So here I have ketchup. This one is red seasoning powder. I believe it was paprika. This one you can't really see too much on there anymore, but it is Coke, Coca-Cola. And then this one is the uh, coffee flavored Neo drops. This one is strawberry jelly. And this is barbecue sauce. And I did rub them into the carpet um, last night. So they've been sitting for, I would say, a good 12 hours. And they are actually dried and, and crunchy now. I don't know if you can see that. But it is definitely dried and in the carpet. Very nice and well. Um, I wanted to make sure that it wasn't a fresh sauce on the carpet fibers because in all reality, our kids aren't going to tell us when they immediately spill something. Um, they're gonna say, I don't know, I don't know where that came from, I don't know when that happened, right? So the stains aren't always caught immediately. Uh, so in, in reality and in real life, stains sit on the carpet for a little while before you get to them. So I wanted to make that as realistic with my demonstration as possible. So they have been sitting on here for about a good 12 hours or so, I would say at this point. Um, I do have a damp, Enviro cloth and it is folded over into fourths that way I have more clean surfaces since I am going to be doing all six of these demonstrations in one sitting. Um, oh, I also have our carpet stain buster. Well, there we go. The carpet stain buster. Um, and this is a enzyme-based biodegradable carpet cleaning solution. So it has this little nozzle right here on the front and you just make sure that it's folded over and it's got a screen on here. So when it sprays, it actually comes out as a foam um, instead of a stream. So that helps it get into the fibers a little bit better, into the carpet fibers. Um, another option that we can do if the stain is really tough and hard to get out, um, I have these, I use, I use these for samples, um, I keep one in my bag, whatnot. So this is our Ultra Power Plus laundry detergent, but it is dissolved into water already. And you can use this as a cleaning solution as well. Um, it's great for spot cleaning carpets and whatnot if you have a tough stain. Um, it's able to sit on there a little bit longer and you can let it soak in a sense. Um, I also will make this jar, I'm almost out of it right now, but I will pre-make a jar of detergent and water and I'll just mix it up and use this in my regular carpet cleaner when I'm cleaning a whole room of the carpet. Um, so this can replace your carpet cleaning solution and the, the standard typical carpet solution, the soap. Um, since those have all kinds of chemicals and whatnot and this does not, this seems to be a better option and it works great, absolutely great. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, I'm gonna start with the ketchup over here and try and move some of this stuff out of my way. All right. So we will start with the ketchup and I'm just gonna take the bottle. I already have my foam nozzle on. And we're just gonna let that sit for about 30 seconds or so. All right, and let's see, I think I'm gonna wait and I'm not gonna spray all of them right now. We're gonna see how well it does immediately first. So, it has already loosened up those fibers and makes it not so rock solid anymore, how it was. And I like to kind of use my finger or a towel or whatnot to just make sure it gets all the way in and then let it sit some more. That way it has, has time to start breaking down that, that item or that stain. All right, so then you just take your Enviro cloth and scrub at it. Uh, you can grab onto it and kind of pull at the, at the carpet pieces just a little bit to try and pull that sauce and that stain out. Of course you want to do this gently because you don't want to ruin your carpet fibers themselves. Alright, 
can see it's already getting a lot better. And mind you, I mean, this again has been sitting for 12 hours or, or more. I honestly don't remember what time I, what time I put it on these sauces and stuff onto the carpet. So I will get that information and put it down below. But already still a little damp, so you can still see where it, where it's wet. But that is the ketchup and it is a majority of the way gone. And if you feel that, you know, this isn't, isn't to your satisfaction or whatnot, there is still some, some ketchup down deep into the fibers and whatnot. So you are able to spread it in and just do the process multiple times until you get the results that you want. Um, a lot of these stains, especially if they've been sitting for a while or it's a hard item like ketchup, I mean, it's red stains, it's tomatoes, right? Um, so these things do take a little bit and a little bit of work to, to get up, out of the deep carpet fibers to be able to leave that without any sort of a residue or marks to show that it was there at all. So sometimes it does take a few times of getting it getting that solution in there. All right, look at that. It's completely gone. That was the ketchup. All right, so now I'm going to go to the red seasoning, and I believe this is paprika. And then we're going to just try, since this is just a powder, instead of So, let's go ahead and spray some of that on there. And now that it's wet, since it was a powder and now I've mixed it with water and whatnot, now it's more of a set in stain. You can see it in there just a little bit. And yeah, you can actually already see it even on my cloth that it was, <coughs> excuse me, that it was coming out. It was just because it was a powder, it was rubbing it deep down into the carpet fibers as well. So spray it, let it sit for a minute, and then use our Enviro cloth again to make sure that we grab all those pieces of seasoning and stuff out of the carpet fibers so that we don't have a stain. And I wanted to do a powder and like a red seasoning in a sense to show like, um, let's say you had a chicken piece of chicken for dinner one night that was coated in, in some sort of seasoning and then baked or fried or grilled or you know whatever the case may be had some seasoning on it and your kid got mad they didn't want to eat it and they threw it on the carpet <laughs> you know that that seasoning does unfortunately get onto the carpet occasionally and it's not something that we like to deal with but it is a a stain that can occur so i wanted to show that it works well on all different types of situations on camera, but I do promise you that it is there. Um, it is, it's lighter, it's one of our lighter stains. So actually with this one, I'm not going to use the, the carpet stain buster because um, it is not such a bad, bad stain since it is lighter. So I'm just gonna use a little bit of the detergent and water. And I think now that I sprayed it on there, you can see the stain a little bit more. I decided to show up better. So I'll just kind of let that sit there. Rub it in, make sure it gets into all the little pieces. And then just wipe it away. There we go. And again, that was our Ultra Power Plus. That's the, the laundry detergent. 
and you can add it to water and make a, a cleaning solution. Um, I like to keep one of these small little bottles with me. It just makes it handy on the go. Uh, all right, so this one is our Mio. It is the coffee flavor, I think it's like the mocha coffee or something like that, flavored Mio squirty drops. So since this one is a dark color, definitely want to make sure that we get a lot of that right deep down into there and let that one sit. And since this is one of our worst stains as far as color goes, since it is almost, you know, a black, dark brown color, uh, we may have to do this one multiple times and that is all right. Because I would rather personally to go over a stain multiple times on my carpet in my house than to leave a nasty stain there. So going over it multiple times, you know, sometimes is is definitely worth the time and worth the energy that it puts in, that it takes to to get it out. And you can see, I mean, my cloth is is grabbing all of that nasty gunk. So I want to make sure that I have clean sides that it's working well because the fibers inside of our our microfiber cloth inside of our Enviro cloth are very small and very finely woven, tightly woven. So it is actually picking up the stuff in the carpet, putting it into our Enviro cloth and taking it onto the Enviro cloth with it instead of just spreading it around in the carpet. You can even see on this foamy solution, I don't know if you guys can see that, but um, it actually has the color of the Mio stuff that was on the carpet already. But it has actually, it's starting to take it up into the foam just by means trying to spread it around. All right. And of course, you know, you don't have to spread it around. I prefer to, I feel like it gets it deep down into the carpet fibers before I start wiping it away. That way it has time to, to work and to do what it was meant to do. Want to be able to, to give it a chance to get all the way down in there. Might have sprayed a little bit too much on that one. It even went all the way through. All right. So now, I should have got a clean spot on my, on my rack here. I'm running out of space. Right, so there might still be a little bit of a tint on there, um, but it is not nearly as bad as what it was. And again, I think I only sprayed the, the stain buster on there twice. So if, you know, if this isn't up to your satisfaction at that moment on your rug, then you can of course keep doing it again and again and again until you get your the results that you would like. But this one was the worst as far as color goes. It was the darkest color, I should say. And now we have our strawberry jelly. It's like rock hard in there because it's jelly, it's sticky. But what kid in their life has not you know, dropped a peanut butter and jelly sandwich on the rug as they're walking around the house and they should be sitting at the table eating, right? It happens to all of them. It happens to all of us. So, unfortunately, jelly is another one of those items that you don't want on your carpet because it's a sticky, gooey mess that's really hard to get out. However, we all kind of go through it at some point. And so I can still see that there's, you know, these little tiny, tiny, pieces of the jelly on there. I don't know if you guys can see it in the camera or not, but you can still see that there's these little tiny pieces still stuck in the fiber. So I'm going to go ahead and, and do it again so that it has a chance to pull those up as well. If you 
look really closely at all of the carpet samples that I have here and all of the um, carpet fibers themselves on these on these samples, the ones that I've already cleaned even, um, it hasn't ruined the fibers on these at all. You know, usually when you take a, a paper towel or a washcloth or something and you scrub onto your carpet, it will make those carpet fibers almost look fuzzy afterwards and they kind of really never go back. You know, they, it just never looks the same again. And with these cloths, with this Enviro cloth, it has not done that to these fibers. So that is a, a big plus that you know that you are not only avoiding the harsh chemicals, you're doing it cleaning very quick and easy and with just your Enviro cloth and whatever solution it is that you decide. But um, you can be rest assured that it's not going to harm your family because of the chemical and it's not going to ruin your carpet. All right, on to the barbecue sauce, our last one. And mind you, the only thing that was on this rag when we first started was water. Just water on the Enviro cloth. Nothing more. Now there's ketchup and paprika and Coke and Neo and jelly and about to be barbecue sauce. And then of course our, our stain buster. But um, you are able to use, you know, our cleaning products with our cloths. Uh, these cleaning products, because they don't contain any harsh chemicals, are actually safe to use with these cloths. Um, of course, you know, you don't want to use any harsh chemicals with your cloths in order to keep them working well and doing their best for the longest that you can. Um, you know, one of these cloths can easily last you a good 10 years if you are taking care of it properly. And that means, you know, not using the harsh chemicals because if you were to use bleach or something similar in that sense on these cloths or with these cloths to clean up, you could ruin the, the fibers and the makeup of your, of your cloth and then it won't work as well anymore. So, between you know, not using the harsh chemicals and laundering them properly, which of course if you have any questions about any of that, just let me know and I can always help you out. Um, but yeah, as long as you use them correctly, they will last you a good, good long time. And they are safe, or our chemicals are safe to use, not our chemicals, our cleaning stuff doesn't have any harsh chemicals, so they are safe to use with our cloths. All right, barbecue sauce, gone as well as well and of course you know my lighting over here I'm sitting on the kitchen table and it's cloudy outside and whatnot so these are kind of getting a, a funny shadow on them in a sense but you can even see that they are pretty well cleaned off I can still see a little bit of a tint on this one and of course this again was our, our um, coffee flavored Neo drops so that one was the, the worst color looking uh, it was a dark, dark brown, almost black color. Um, so of course, you know, if I wanted to do it perfection, I could go ahead and, and do another solution on that one or even spray it with the Ultra Power and let it sit for a little while longer um, to let it kind of soak in and pull that, that gunk out. Um, and then the other one that I still see a little bit with is the paprika, which again, I mean, that was a red powder. So when I sprayed stuff on it, it then set the stain in farther. Um, but again, I could do the solution again with the, the carpet staining buster, uh, or I could let it soak with the Ultra Power Plus and just kind of do multiple applications of these things to be able to get the stains out. So there you have it. Um, you know, again, we did ketchup, paprika, Coca-Cola, um, the coffee Mio, strawberry jelly, and barbecue sauce. And I got it all up with just this one, one wet cloth, some carpet stain buster, and a little bit of the Ultra Power Plus. I think I used on one of them. I think I used it on Coke. So that was it. If you have any questions, let me know. Bye.